hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. It sure is windy out here, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Is there a way to see wind currents? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a glass jar with a lid, a lighter and a strip of paper, a plastic container, and some ice. Today, I am gonna show you wind. No, I mean, I'm literally gonna show you how to see air currents with your very own two eyes. So, the first thing you're gonna need is a jar. Now, you don't have to get one of these giant jars like I have, but you will have to get a jar that has a lid. And you're gonna find out what the lid is for in just a second. Put this aside because it's time to get some ice ice baby. Okay, once you've got your tray of ice, you're gonna get that lid and you're gonna place your ice cubes inside that lid. Set those aside for a second and get yourself a plastic container. Why plastic? I find it hurts less when you bop people in the head. See? <laughs> Fill this with really hot water from your tank. You're gonna pour your hot water into the jar. <sighs> Stick them up. <laughs> then get yourself a strip of paper and you're gonna light the strip of paper. Then place the piece of paper on the side of the jar like this and you're gonna put your lid on top. Whoa, now check that out. You can see an air current moving up and down, just like the wind in nature. Now that's so wicked cool. So, why does the air rise up and sink? And what does this have to do with wind? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The sun heats the earth, which absorbs the radiation and turns it into heat. This heat is passed on to air molecules, which start moving faster and faster and spread further apart. Warm air doesn't actually rise, but cold air molecules, which move slower and are closer together, weigh more than the warmer molecules. As these cold air molecules get pulled down by gravity, they push up on the warm air molecules, which makes it seem like warm air rises. When these air molecules push other molecules out of their way, this causes wind. If you were able to see wind, it would appear just like what you saw in the jar. The jet stream is an area where colder air molecules meet up with hotter air molecules. Since these molecules mix with each other, they create a river of air that flows from west to east due to the Earth's rotation. There are three major jet streams, the polar jet streams, the subtropical jet streams, and the equatorial jet stream. These jet streams are found at about 20 kilometers up in the Earth's atmosphere. These jet streams move at about 550 kilometers per hour. So a trip from LA to New York will take about five hours, but a trip from New York to LA will take about six hours. So now you know more about wind. You know, being able to see wind right at home is why science is so cool.